So guys, um, if you see me wearing this black star jersey, this Ghana jersey, the retro jersey, it only means that it's because of the love I have for Ghana, the love I have for the black stars. We love the black stars a lot, even despite the economy not being good currently in Ghana, but still, Charlie, how we for do? We still go talk about the football we did the country inside. So, um, guys, you are watching Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. If you have already subscribed, Thank you very much for subscribing and thank you for taking time off your busy schedule to watch me this moment. I really appreciate it and God richly bless you. Make sure to share this to others so that they can also watch um, Sports Corner. Today we are going to discuss something very important, especially with the Black Stars. And um, I'm just going to talk about the goal scoring problem in the Black Stars and why this particular player can really solve this goal scoring problem in the Black Stars because Chris Hilton is actually looking into bringing this player into the Black Stars. Now, this goal scoring problem dates back before Asamwajan. Those of you who think Asamwajan solved our problems, yeah, he did, but there was a striker that was playing before Asamwajan. Matiyamwa, I don't know if most of you remember Matiyamwa. Matiyamwa was the one holding the fort um, for the Black Star, scoring a few goals here and there. But no crano, when we go to AFCON or competitions like that, the goals don't come. Then, luckily for us, we had Asamwajan. Asamwajan did marvelously well for Ghana, even up to date. Um, you know, people still talk about the good things Asamwajan did for the Black Stars, the goals he scored. But after Asamwajan, Charlie, we have not had any prolific goal scorer since then. We have had the likes of Afinajan, who came in. I mean, we went to Roma to literally beg this young boy to come and play for us in the um, Afghan qualifiers against Nigeria because then we had no striker to fill in the position of Asamwajan because Asamwajan left a very huge, you know, hole in the Black Stars after he, he, he decided to, you know, step down. I mean, beg Felix Afinajan. He came, did his thing. He was very impressive. But then when we we're going to the World Cup, we didn't send him. That was when Inaki Williams decided to play for um, the Black Stars. But, uh, you know, Inaki Williams came to the Black Stars. We were all excited about Inaki Williams. Everybody was excited to see the Athletic Global Star play for Ghana. But after the World Cup, people have started you know, raising concerns and criticizing the kind of game he plays. You know, Inaki Williams is trying to still learn the way we play here in Africa. He's trying to adapt to the system and it's going to take some time. Samajan has already been talked about it several times. Say it would take some time, so we should relax for him. And even so, at Let's go, but Enak Williams doesn't really play as a center forward. Sometimes he drifts as a winger. So people were like, oh, okay, he should be repositioned to either a winger or he should come in as a number 10 and all those things. But fast forward, we also have uh, Antoine Semenyon. Antoine Semenyon to Charlie. Antoine Semenyon be some super sub. B. We saw him. You know, scored some wonderful goals um, for his team in the championship, and then he was called up to the Black Stars. We know Antoine Semen, you know, when he comes in as a sub, they forget he will score you some Malam goals and some nice goals. You will be, you will be surprised. So, um, down the lane, these are some of the strikers that we had in the Black Stars, um, post and then pre Asamajan, and the problem is still there. So, I, I mean. Coach Chris Hilton is going around the world scouting for players like to solve this goal scoring problem because you know as a team Ankasa, if you are going to concede there then at least you should be scoring goals yes you should be scoring goals so um, Chris Hilton has been going around because I mean with the with the, with the recruitment of Inaki Williams they have tried with um, Eddie Nketiah and then Kalo Hilton almost so like they are doing like this like this so um, Chris Hilton is trying to target this boy he is the main focus of today's video and we are going to talk about him. We are going to talk about what is so special about this boy that Chris Hilton is so much interested in him. Now, the, the name of this player is Brandon Thomas Asante. Yes, Brandon Thomas Asante. But actually, his full name, that is his birth name, is a very long name. His name is Solomon Michael Clark Brandon Thomas Asante, very, 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 very long name for um, this young chap. He plays currently plays for West Ham. And he's their top goal scorer, scoring nine goals. Seven of the goals came in in the EFL Championship. Charlie, yes, and I know you'll be saying, ah, I'll be seven year, like it's too small. Yes, but comparing that to someone who plays outside the top five leagues. Charlie Championship gold, yeah, it's very heavy. Even those who stake bets will tell you how difficult it is to even win a game in the championship. So let's talk about the background of Brandon Thomas Asante. 
He was born on the 15th of November 1998 in Melton Kings. Yes, Melton Kings. And he started his football in the area. No, he played for MK Dons. MK Dons is a team in Melton Kings. That's where he started his football. And after playing and impressing, you know, he had to go on loan to, to gain experience. So he went to um, an, uh, a Norwegian team called Varelenga. He went to an Norwegian team called Varelinga to gain experience. He plays for Southford to get some small experience. Then after he was transferred to West Brom. West Brom, no, they just recently left the English Premiership to um, Championship. And they are playing in the Championship. And this season so far, he has scored 14 goals, given two assists, and then he has played 42 times. Yes, 42 times for West Brom. And he's currently the top goal scorer um, this season. And, I mean, with these statistics... This shows you that this player is, is, is a prolific striker. But the question that rises is that, he, but he's not Ghanaian. Yeah, that's what most people say. Oh, he's not Ghanaian. This is another Inak Williams. How are we sure that he's going to understand how the Ghana football is being played or how the African football is being played? Because he's born to a Ghanaian father and a Jamaican mother. Yeah, Bombokla. To the people who say Bombokla to those people. He's born to a Ghanaian father a, a Jamaican mother. How is he going to understand what's happening um, in Ghana? How the Ghana football is being played? That is where Chris Uten comes in. That is where the assistant coaches come in and sell him the Ghanaian football culture. Because when you are able to sell the project to these players, we would get them. See, we have tried all we can with, you know, bringing in players, Nak Williams, Antoine Semenyo. I mean, we are even trying to bring in Eddie Nketiah, Callum Watson, all the by. You know, people, there's a saying that, but you know, there's a saying that, you know, a lot of meat don't spoil soup. But in tree translation, and I'm the one saying, quite, we need more of these players because we are really lacking when it comes to goal scoring. After some Wajan left, I mean, hit your chest and tell me which striker has really impressed you when it comes to goal scoring. I mean, you can't even pinpoint a striker at the moment in the Black Stars. And I believe Chris Hilton is trying to solve that by going into, you know, the market. He's going around looking for Ghanaian players. I mean, I feel like if any Ghanaian player is anywhere around the world, whether, like, he's somewhere else, I mean, he should just come and play for the country. So, um, let's take, for instance, I give bet or you give bet to a boy who plays football, but then you are married to another lady who is not a Ghanaian, let's say probably an European or um, a Caribbean. I mean, just imagine your son is also a Ghanaian. So I believe that we should stop those things that, oh, he's not Ghanaian, where is he going to understand the tree? How are they going to communicate? Allow that, let their football talk. Yes, let their football talk. So guys, let me know what you think about this down below in the comment section. Let me know your honest thoughts on Brandon Thomas Asante. As I said, his name is very long. He has about six or seven names. Solomon Michael Clark Thomas Brandon Asante. Very, very, very long name. Let me know what you think about this guy down below in the comment section. Do you think what Chris Hilton is doing recruiting players, especially young players? I'm telling you always, look at their ages. Their age is very, very, very young players. Do you think Chris Hilton is doing the right thing? Let me know that below in the comment section. Thanks for joining me. My name is Adam. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and also don't forget to leave a comment down below. See you in the next video. Have a nice day, Charlie. We go vibe in the next video.